doesn't that make you feel good? Every time I hear that intro music, I just start dancing in the background. I decided to, you know, grace you with my presence in dancing today. So welcome to the show. If this is the first time joining, hello, my name is Ed Troxel, and I'm not going to do my normal intro. Why? Because I have a special clip that I wanted to share with you that just came out that I'm really excited about. Be sure to say hello in the comments, even if you're watching the replay. But, you know, you always hear from me, and technically this intro is from me, but it's going to be in a different format. So I'm going to share my screen with you, and I'm going to point out my good friend Erica R. Meyer. Her podcast is amazing if you haven't checked it out yet. Um, it's right here on the screen. But I also wanted to share this specific episode that she just launched where uh, Erica actually interviewed me. And there's a lot of great tips and, and I'll drop those into the, I'll drop the link into the comments, but I just wanted to play this quick intro for you because for some of you, you may be new and don't know me or you've been around for a while, but you still haven't really got what I, what I do. So I want to play this. So be sure to stay, stay tuned. And then we're going to dive into the BSQ method. You might have heard me talk about this. It's one of my favorite uh, methods to implement for whatever you're doing. Uh, and it's going to be a good one. We even have the whiteboard. Yes. So let's play this quick intro just so you guys can hear. And then we will go from there. So stay tuned. What is a Facebook Live producer and how you became a Facebook Live producer? What is that? This is awesome. Yes, uh, it's definitely unique uh, for sure. Uh, one that I believe now is probably going to become very well known here in the months and years to come. Uh, but basically what uh, I do as a Facebook Live producer is I help small businesses uh, embrace live broadcasting, specifically Facebook Live, so that they can get seen online and they can start that conversation and invite their audience, their customers, their potential customers even, into the conversation. Because that's what marketing is truly about. It's starting a conversation. And when you start the conversation, and invite people into it using mediums like social media, then you're bringing together people to have this conversation that then helps each other, both the business owner and the, the customer, or the, the audience, I should say, uh, determine whether or not they're the right fits for what you're offering, what, what your solutions are. And, and it also helps the business owner understand more about what their audience wants and needs. So then that way they're not guessing and they're not spending a ton of time, money, and energy trying to create and build out all of these things uh, that their audience actually don't need or don't want. And so my job as the Facebook Live producer is really to help businesses get online, share their message with their audience, and really be able to connect with them. That, that's what I love doing is connecting people online uh, oh, so that, that way they can have that conversation and go from there. And build that relationship, right? Yes, because it's all about building relationships. And that's the important thing totally. that I think a lot of people uh, forget is that, yes, marketing is part of your, your business plan. It's part of that puzzle that starts the conversation that can lead to those sales, which is what as a business owner you want is sales. So that way you can grow and keep producing. But we have to remember that there is a difference between marketing and sales. And, and while they come together, uh, marketing itself is not the buy directly from me all the time. Like it's what starts that conversation that leads to the sale versus uh, you saying it's, I try to relate it to, you know, relationships. All right, so there you go. If you want more of that, you can go ahead and tune into that later. Not right now, because we're gonna talk about the BSQ method. But you can check that out uh, on Erica's podcast and check out her other episodes too because it's amazing. Uh, but lots of amazing tips in there, not just because I said them, of course not, um, but there's a lot of great tips in there for you to learn. It's 40, what, 43 minutes and 32 seconds. It's probably going to be the best 43 minutes and 32 seconds of your life, at least for today. Uh, so let's jump into today's content. And mind you that... We got a lot going on up here. You know, this is what happens with COVID and being on lockdown. So you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna point out the elephant in the room. Yes, I got the good hair, and, and it's we're wild out here in these online streets. So there you go. Okay, so um, it's all about building relationships. Exactly, exactly. So BSQ method. Have you heard me talk about the BSQ method before? Yes or no, let me know even if you're watching the replay. The BSQ method is important for everyone. And I'm gonna try to get this right here. So the BSQ method, we're gonna write this down. B S Q. It's a fantastic acronym. It's so easy to remember. B S Q. Can you guess what it looks like? Or, sorry, I was reading the comments. Can you guess? what BSQ stands for. 
while you're guessing, I'm going to start to write it out for you, okay? So we're going to think big, act small, move, quickly. Don't judge me on my writing. I'm the tech guy. So, you know, I always put that warning out there. So BSQ method, think big, act small, move quickly. This is something that you can apply to anything. Today, we're going to apply it to your marketing efforts, more specifically your marketing efforts online. All right. So let me see if I can get my, my red pen here and make this stand out more. So think big. What do we want to think big about? So this is anytime you're coming up, let, let's back up for a second. Anytime you're coming up with a new idea, a new product, a new launch, a new service, whatever it may be, you always want to think about this. BSQ, think big, act small, move quickly, can really help you with your processes. And so for this example today, we're going to talk about our online marketing efforts. So that's the think big part, okay? So we're thinking big, which is our online marketing efforts, because that's huge, right? Underneath that is our social media, our email marketing, all of these other things go underneath that. So, so that's our big picture. Then we're going to start thinking, uh, acting small, which is, can you guess it? It's one of my favorite things to talk about. It's using, I was gonna say our, but I'm gonna put your Facebook page. Act small, you're gonna use your Facebook business page. Now, how many of you, even if you're watching the replay, how many of you are actively using your business page? There's a keyword there. I'll let you decide which one it was. But how many of you are using your Facebook page, actively using your Facebook page? Let me know in the comments down below. And I should mention that today's episode is going to lead into Wednesday's episode. So Wednesday, I'm going to have a Facebook Live here at 3 p.m. on the Facebook business page. And we're going to go a little bit deeper into uh strategy and just this is kind of just the the basics here for you so we got the bsq method we think big which is online marketing efforts we're acting small which is using your facebook page can you guess what the move quickly is i'm curious can you guess what the move quickly is if we're talking to, if we're working our way down fine-tuning things from online marketing efforts to our facebook page what would be the move quickly part I love it. Vicky says, I haven't been lately, but I'm starting to again from this week. Been so busy at work. Yes. And, and let's make, let's make, uh, while you guys are typing this out, let me just point this out too. When I say actively using your Facebook page, I do not mean you have to go on your page every single day of every single hour of every single minute. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I need you to just be present enough on your Facebook business page so that when I visit your page, I'm not sitting there scrolling through trying to find the last time you actually posted, meaning I don't want to see something that's over a week old for the most part because you all should be having some kind of update within a week, if not sooner. So. There's a, there's a whole strategy behind this. Don't, don't worry. There's a whole thing around that, but I just want to point that out. Um, and yes. Oh, good. Vicky says replying to comments. Oh, move quickly. It does tie into that. Very good. So for this one, it is going to be writing out, let's just say five to 10 topics to post about.
Okay, so let's break this down. We have the BSQ method, which is think big, act small, move quickly. In this specific example, our think big is online marketing efforts. Our act small is using our Facebook business page. Our move quickly is going to be writing out five to 10 topics that we could post about. Now, if you don't know what to post about, I see some of those hands like oh, going up over the eyes, la 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 la. If you don't know what to post about, remove, remove the fingers from your ears, open those eyes, ask. Ask. Ask your people. You have a business page. You have the ability to post. Ask people what they want. Sometimes they don't know what they want, so don't, don't feel bad if you don't get any responses. But at least you did your job, remember? We got the show up, deliver, engage. You have to do your part, which is show up. You have to do your part, which is deliver. Everyone else is going to have to do their part, which is engage. You see how that works? Pretty good with that, with that pointing action, huh? It's a Monday. We're, we're working hard this week, kicking it off just right. Um, all right. So, yes, and to tie into Vicky's uh, earlier comment, move quickly is also replying to those comments, engaging. So what I want you to do this week is really think about this BSQ method. I want you to be able to start applying this BSQ method in whatever it is you're doing. Uh, as we talked about, our example today is thinking big is going to be online marketing efforts. Acting small is going to be using your Facebook business page. Moving quickly is writing out topics that you could cover, that you could post on your business page. Notice that I did not say you had to post these today or this week. I simply said, write out five to 10 topics to post about on your Facebook page. Did you notice that? Because some of you tuning in were probably stressing out with the, oh my gosh, I have to, I have to post five or 10 things this week on my business page. I don't have time for this. I, I don't know what's going to happen. No, I can't. Uh, stop. Nobody said anything about that. We're simply breaking down the BSQ method. We're applying it to your online marketing efforts. We're giving you a starting point, which is your Facebook business page. I don't care if you show up on Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Snapchat, TikTok, YouTube, you know, whatever else is out there, Twitch, all of them. It doesn't matter. Starting point. Facebook business page. And then you're just going to write out five to 10 topics that you could post about. If you start posting them, great. But that's not what we're talking about today. We're just talking about getting started. Remember, it's all about getting started. Yes, you can do 120 different things. Yes, there's so many opportunities out there and so many things that you can and want and will do. But guess what? You have to start. And that's what we're all about is helping you start with the simple technologies, the simple breakdowns like you saw here in the BSQ method. So be sure to tune in on Wednesday at 3 p.m. right here on the Facebook page to uh, dive a little bit more into this. And if you need help with your online marketing efforts or think that you need help or it's just something that you're like, I didn't even think about it till now. Do yourself a favor. Use the link in the description, which is also known as my website, edtroxelcreative.com, and book your free call. It's a free call for us to be able to connect. I can see what you're, what you're doing, what's happening, and then I can point you in the right direction, whether that's uh, something that I offer for free, something that I offer uh, paid, or something that somebody else offers that I know will help you with that. What do you have to lose? So stop wasting time, excuse me, stop wasting time and stop being stuck. Let's get you unstuck today. Use the link in my description here so that you can book your free call 
over at edtroxcreative.com and we will go from there. I hope to see you guys back here on Wednesday at 3 p.m. And I'll check back with you in the comments down below throughout the day. Take care, everyone.